How's it going? Yeah, you were right on the ball with that. Congrats on being first! I really need to get that uh, blackout curtain set up. Because I am just... I'm a ghost. I'm white out. I'm so what whited out. Hey Kai! How are you doing? Ugh. Welcome back! <laughs> We are glad to have you. We are playing AI Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative today, and today is pretty kooky. Yeah, I am very, very pale, as it is. And Grintilda. <laughs> but, yep. Yeah. It is... A beautiful but gray morning outside. I think it's gonna, probably gonna rain at some point today. But uh, I don't know why. Every single time I play AI Somnium Files, the next time I play it, I have completely dumped whatever we did the last session. sure my captions are working. They are! Yay! I'm glad you like the new font for chat. That is for today only. Yeah, I'm... I, the, the, the recap at the start is a lifesaver for me. <laughs> I don't have to remember, so I just don't. Exactly, that is exactly correct. I completely dump it. Because why remember it if they're going to tell me it anyways? But how is everybody? How is everyone doing? Good morning, Paul! How are you today? Welcome to the vintage stream. And apparently next Saturday we're doing a crafting stream as well. So, uh, wow. Okie dokie. Good to know. Um, who should I make next Saturday? We have the options of uh, Piglet, Tigger, or Pooh Bear. Because, as you can see, Eeyore has already been made. But, uh... We will... Actually, let me go ahead and complete out the uh, the whatchamahoosit for the vintage because we are doing that right now your vote goes to Pooh Bear okay so one vote for Pooh actually let me see poll Which plushie should I make next Saturday for the crafting stream? Alright. Pooh. Tigger. Or Piglet. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that for 10 minutes. There we go. 
I know I saw Paul uh, show up, but I haven't heard from him yet in chat. Is he still here? Paul, I miss you, friend. Where are you? I miss your lovely voice. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you. I hope you're well. I haven't talked to you much today, but uh, I've been up to uh, shenanigans and stuff. I think I have the channel redeems uh, alert set up correctly. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but hopefully it works. I don't know. Actually, I'm... Is it gonna work? Okay, I saw it show up on my activity feed. But I didn't show see it show up on the scene. But anyway, hello Tiz, my name is Allie. And I am a variety streamer, and I try to be family friendly, but I don't always succeed. And I do a variety of mature and family friendly games. Hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, I'm gonna have to fiddle with it a bit more to figure out why that's not working, though. <coughs> Palsif. Thank you for your subscribe for 15 months in a row. Thank you so much. Has it really been that long? Seems like it's been shorter than that. Maybe I'm just wrong. It's also possible. Anyways, my alarm has gone off, so it is now time for us to start a video game. So give me one second and I will get us switched on over. Transferred your money to the saving account. That would explain why it wouldn't go. That might be it. Don't know. I don't know how money works. <laughs> Alright. Gonna go ahead and fade out the music. Or just turn it off. Money doesn't work. What is money? How does that work? How does it function? Um, game capture. Yeah, I saw name of files. There we go. There we go. And I do have it set as mature on the game writing good. Okay. Time to load game. And the manual save is always better than the autosave. Let's go. Who would do something like this? Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. Terror used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. Tokiko... She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Right, Tama, we got demoted. As long as you're with me, I can keep going. Oh, right, this was going on. <laughs> okay. This guy showed up again. Uh, I'm out, Mr. Ch Chieda. Oh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. Well, maybe you should stop drinking non-alcoholic beer. Or actual beer. Maybe you should stop pretending to drink. Or drinking at uh, all. That wasn't the issue. And also stop hitting on his daughter. Meeting the parents is a once-in-a-lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit, but I'm definitely gonna get his approval next time we meet. That's not gonna happen. That's some real positive thinking. Huh, damn right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. 
Maybe you could learn something from him, Ryuki. Oh god. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. Okay. Uh, what happened three days ago? Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? And the place I worked was Horadori Institute. I'm sorry, what? What? I actually used to be a thief. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. I used my skills to borrow valuables many times. And Horadori Institute employed you to be a thief? I've gone clean, of course. I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. I was so stupid back then. And I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Chikara Horadori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. Damn it. It's just not fair. I've been okay. working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. That's when an angel appeared before me. Ooh, that's me. difficult. <laughs> that's right, Kizzy. You! And he's using you as a life preserver. That's... I, I, I... This is a whole mess. I felt safe. I wanted to give it my all and live again. You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Huh? Oh, hold on! Don't tell me you broke into someone's house! N no that's not wrong, but it's wrong. It's true that I opened a lock and broke in somewhere, but I wasn't committing a crime. That leap of logic is interesting. Yeah, it does sound like Japan does trivialize trivialize suicide like that. What about the break in? Last night? Last night? You broke into a house? No. N not a house. Uh, I guess I have to say it. Yeah, you do. You kind of have in. to. To Horadori Institute. Why? What? Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything, so I didn't take anything either. Please believe me! Wait, who asked you to do this investigation? Yeah, I'm gonna need a badge number. I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. Secret? You just told us the whole thing! Anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. At all! Very well. I will trust you, Leon. Oh, thank you! You <laughs> are an Sparkle angel, effect. Kizzy. Uh, about Kazuna. As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago at Matsushita Diner. When I saw her, <laughs> it was love at first sight. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. And that's talking. When she boarded a train, I spent all my money to get on the same one. When she went in the girl's bathroom, I followed her. That's creepy. Ryuki, cuff it. But decided not to go inside. Even though she kept ignoring me, I never gave up trying to talk no. to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. So, you gave in. You set a bad precedent there. However... I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work, let alone be friends with them. Yeah, but I was here yesterday, so... It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However, that does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. 
They're really I not. Want to stay by your side. That's not how that works. Destined. My name, Leon, is spelled L-I-E-N in French. Leon means bond, just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Well, well. That's well, a coincidence. <laughs> That's destiny, right? Huh. <laughs> I know, sheesh, take no for an answer. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. Oh, crap. Uh, I forgot scene. to mention something important. What's I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but here it goes. Oh, jeez. Kizzy. Please marry me. Those are shoes. Wait a minute. Is that? I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. Oh my. That's my dream. And did he overhear that? Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Wow. <laughs> and Leon is determined for restraining order. <laughs> Please, accept. I... I cannot accept that. Good for you, girl. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. What? Kizzy? You mean, you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? My dude, this is not attractive at all. Well... Five years... no, perhaps six. I don't feel- I, I don't hate him, I just feel sorry for him. Cause there's- I've seen so many guys like this. It- I, it's called one-itis. You see a girl, you put all of your ideal, you project all of her your ideals onto her. Think she's the most perfect, amazing woman ever, and real re reality is she's really not. She's human, just like you. If after six years you still feel the same way, then. Okay, got it. Then I'll take good care of this for six years. What? Seriously? What if you lose them? Or break them? Hey, I have a good idea. Oh? There. <laughs> Bold of you to assume that I'm human. I put the glass slippers in there. You made a time capsule, basically. And the letters. I wrote out how I feel now in one of the letters. And in the other... I have written how I currently feel in that letter. <laughs> this is a time capsule. We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. Six years! If you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years... Yeah, then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then... Perhaps. Huh. You know, that is kind of romantic. I didn't know you had this sort of side to you, Ryuki. Okay, I'm burying it now. Oh yeah, Mizuki story. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't wait. Six years! Six years is a pretty long time. You sure you're still gonna feel the same way? That actually reminds me. I've been with my husband for about five years now. Man, time's flown. Of course. My love is eternally undying. And she runs away. <laughs> huh? Kizuna, what's wrong? Oh, that again. What? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? 
kind of like that. What? Uh, I don't get it. Just watch. Let us begin. Start the music! What? She's gonna dance? Oh, jeez. Here we go. Yeah. Where can I find you? How do I remind you of the dream you share? But dreams are just for dreamers, lonely hearts and schemers. I've got to break the chains of fame on my own. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Lonely girls across the world, let's wake up and fight. We've heard this, what, a couple times now? I think that's only you, Tiz. <laughs> I still hate it. I thought so two days ago, too. You really are good at dancing, Kizuna. Thank you. Yeah, that was seriously amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I need to get going now. Yeah, see you later. Have a nice day. Good luck with the investigation. But I didn't get detected to those two. I'm gonna talk more. Rude. Okay. Let's go to Mizuton. Oh, Mr. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Now we're looking for your son. Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Can I talk to him? Oh, that's a disturbed look. Hi, I Shama. I'm Ferris wheel with you. Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Rude. Ryuki, Shama is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. What is with your eye? If you shove yourself in there, you just might open up. Tama. Could you please not phrase it like that? Why did you lie? What lie? You said the hidden message in BATS 490 pointed to Horidori Institute. But that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied? And where the actual location is? Truth is... I never decoded it. What? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. Are we done now? Don't talk to me anymore. That got a reaction. He's probably lying right now. His chastity belt wasn't loose after all. Tama! If you're going to say it that way, you at least have to add the of his heart part. Anyway, 
I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. Mm, one wheel robot. That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into robots. Robots are cool! But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology. And the one-wheel design is beautiful. Well, I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one-wheel design. Like, major electronics companies make one-wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm-hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. That's impressive. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. <laughs> I know you don't really care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm, I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. Hmm, mm, uh, Mizuki. I told you before, she's just a classmate. We're not friends, and I don't know much about her. Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor, but I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her? No! That doesn't mean anything! <laughs> Not like I'm even slightly interested in that uggo. Hey! Well... He really is a kid, huh? Be nice. I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Will you cut it out already? No. I don't want to talk about my dad. Talk about him. I already told you. I hate him. Why? <laughs> Happy now? I hate him so much. I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first. Then dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. You ran away from home? Why? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because your dad has a square for a head? Because! It's my dad's fault for being so pathetic! Pull yourself together! Show me how cool you can be on TV! That's what I said to my dad. I bring I smiles to the audience! audience. He is a little literal blockhead. You're correct. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out, That's why Mom got sick of you and left! Ooh. Dad turned bright red, and... Then why don't you just leave too? Oh... Mm. That's why I left the house. Yikes. Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. Hmm. Don't blame me, kid. I told you. I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, his stupid awful singing in the bathtub, Everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! You know what? I don't blame so you. He sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. Yeah, there's... The, the opposite of love is not actually hate. It's apathy. Because if you truly don't care about someone, you wouldn't pay attention it's to them. It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. 
That means... We'll have to try our luck with his father. Hmm. Great. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel too. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. I don't think there was an option for wink sinking with Shoma. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in circles. <laughs> so, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. Uh, why are you wearing your stage outfit if you're not performing? This is the only outfit I have right now. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, that'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes. I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and... Wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. It's really not. Not really. Yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. This tie, Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. It's rather unfortunate about the fact that uh, he hates your guts. After careful consideration, I told Mr. Komeji that... Uh, it's highly likely, likely that Shoma lied about the message hidden in Bats 490. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but... Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. How can I get the truth? I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little, but yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. Oh my. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult, considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Hmm. I used About to be yourself? a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since. And yet... Do you regret becoming a comedian? Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. Um, Mr. Ryuki, there is something I'd like to talk to you about. Okay. What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. Okay, let's wink sync. I know you're in there! Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago! 
Cough it up, you bastard! <sighs> ah, it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday, and the day before that, I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. Uh, uh. Oh, jeez. So, he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly, he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is, he's involved with some dangerous transactions. Yikes. Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? What are you talking about? I would never do something like that! Why are you sweating, then? I tried asking Komiji more questions, but no matter how I questioned him, he didn't admit to any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key to Shoma's heart. Okie dokie. Huh. Shoma isn't here. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Excuse me. Okay. Meiji and Shoma, huh? It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and asked again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's. Alright, let's go to Marble. <coughs> Mama! Uh, hi again. Okay. Oh, Ryuki, honey, welcome. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama, but I'm not here as a customer today. I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. Nice pair of, uh, crystal balls there. Do you mean the HB case? That you're polishing. Yeah. What happened to the Tanuki fish? Mama and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. Did they have a fight? Two crystal balls on top of the counter. Uh, crystal balls? Is that a crystal ball? Yes! These are my big milky balls! <laughs> milky... Balls? Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. Yeah, I know. I started telling fortunes as a side business, and believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. You're right, I don't believe it. Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune-telling. They both sound pretty fishy. Go back to polishing your bonito fish. You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. You might believe me if you see it in person. Sure, why not? Let's try it. No, it's okay. No need to be so modest. It'll be free of charge. Uh, do the seance. Then let me ask the milky balls. Can you stop calling them that? Tama's getting <laughs> uncomfortable. That's impressive. Oh, great set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? Oh, the finger wriggles. 
that is Mama, of course. Oh, jeez, her eyes. Oh, my. <laughs> you flatterer. <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. A hidden face. The heck? The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Huh? Did I just say something? I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. Ah, uh, well, that was a thing. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is... Gan's face hidden under his mask. But he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is... Ah! Jin Furaway! Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. Not even hmm. once? Not even once. It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. Okay. By the way, Mama, what's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? No, Mama. The problem is Genny's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? Oh boy, trouble in paradise. You sound like a stupid person right now. What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. Why American? You're, you guys aren't in America. W wait, wait. What is this argument even hydrate. about? Thank you. Well, we're having a disagreement. Alright, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> That's what happened. So, we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion. And that's where we're at. But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time. Oh, jeez. Huh? What's the name of the island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Uh... It's Ellis Island. No. Liberty Island? What? Even you think that, Ryuki? It is Ellis Island, isn't it? Oh. Uh, Santa. Where are you, Santa? Ugh. The answer is Ellis Island. I thought Ellis Island was the island that all the people went to, like, register. What? H hold on. That's ridiculous. It can't be. I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer for five minutes. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. What? That's not true! So you're in agreement with me. There's definitely something wrong here. Oh, it's the Mandela effect. Hey, what do you think, Tama? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. What? 
Look, I just looked it up online. Now do you see? The Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island. It can't be. Again, I still can't believe this, but it looks like they're right. Impossible. See? Anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. But it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. I see. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. Everyone makes mistakes. Now, I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay, then I'll see you three later. What about your restaurant, Gen? I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. That's fair. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. What if Matsushita Diner takes your customers? I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. Or being a man. Mm, about Amame. Amame and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things like you saw earlier. We're basically family at this point. So if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her. No matter what. <sighs> what do I do? What in the world should I do? Hmm. Interesting. Warehouse district? Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. Oh, really? I have been very close with Date for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Date, Amame, and Lian. You know Lian too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahmin as well. Lian just wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. Oh, brother, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall for that. I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh. That's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. <laughs> what are they, teenagers? Oh, we talked a lot about porno mags. T Called it. Cut your mask. Putting Date, Amame, and Lian aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? Yes, I would. What? My face. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. Not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything. I said that, but to be honest, a part of me wanted to see. Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Hmm. X-ray. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> there we go. I don't believe it. I could clearly see Gen's skull. But it didn't seem like the answer to the solving the f case was hidden there. 
That's some hunchback no of Notre Dame stuff going on there. Yes, let's move on. Bye bye, Santa. <laughs> Thank you. Well, again, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. Yep, and uh, to consult your milky balls. I'm sure that can't be taken out of context. Let's go to Lemnus Gate. Really glad I don't have an automatic clip function. <laughs> Rinky, we just finished recording. <sighs> oh, good timing. Uh, hi, Ota. Why are these two here? I just happen to be here by chance. Sure. Me too. I'm here completely by coincidence. I don't believe that for a second. Okay then. So, what is it you wanted to tell me about the case? Yeah, about that. Who, who the hell is that? Hmm? Did someone show up? Oh, you again! Why are you barefoot? You have gloves on, but you're what? barefoot. Talk about sketchy. Oh, scary music. Maybe someone from the talent agency? I don't know. I couldn't see their face, so it's hard to say. Seems dangerous, but I'll put my life on the line to protect Tess. I, I, I mean, Iris. So, uh, don't you worry. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Hello. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Ryuki? N no. I was just suddenly overcome with an inexplicable urge to go to a Tommy. Investigation. I'm going to a Tommy with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? Wait a minute. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Now, let's go to a Tommy together. Uh, okay. Took her hand and we ran out of Lemniscate, leaving Tama behind. So he just ripped his eyeball out. <laughs> Thus, the case came to a close without being resolved. Goodbye, life as a police officer. Hello, Atami Shizu Sh Shizuka. Prefecture. I began my new life as a staff member at an inn here at the Hot Springs District. The end. <sighs> Performance result, destination Atami, and achievement unlocked. Atami end. And here's the flowchart. The flowchart will allow you to check the flow of the story and story and branching points. This will be populated with chapters as you progress along the story. When you select chapter from the destination list, you can jump to different points of the story. Um Here. Yeah, that's definitely a way to end a story. Oh, but why are I just happened to me? Okay, so yeah. What? Talk at me. Seems to. I'll put. Why are you here, Mama? I told you it was a coincidence. 
For some reason, tests, I don't know, A sets, recording schedule, happened to be in my PC. I figured it was a cyber attack by a rival gang, so I came here to scout things out just in case. That's a huge stretch. He was probably just waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura! <laughs> Shopping! Cart! Mart! Tessa! Gaming! Bike! Sprite! Tessa! Account! Check! Collect! Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as Aset! You bet! <laughs> Hello. Wow, what a total hottie. What? Oh, this is perfect. I was just starting to get bored. Come on, let's have a chat, cutie. A little tete-a-tete. -tete. Sorry. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> oh, and your voice is super mega hot, too. Hottie for a thotty. Slide into my DMs anytime, King. Um, I'm here to ask some questions for an investigation. Wait, you're with the police? Are you friends with Date by any chance? Yeah, he he's my superior. Oh my god, it's such a small world, crazy. Why is this woman a receptionist? <laughs> Likely a decision made by the company president. Mizuki? <laughs> Mizuki? It's okay, you don't have to say it. You wanna rub these soft things, don't you? No, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? Oh my god. Here you go. <laughs> I moved over to the receptionist and began vigorously rubbing both of her earlobes. They were softer than expected. Ryuki, what are you doing? When I returned to where I was, Iris was looking at me as though I was the scum of the earth. <laughs> Moma looks extremely out of place here. What is it you wanted to tell me? Um, why are you here? I told you I just happened to be here. I just so happened to know Tessa's recording schedule. Why? And I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, he was waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Great, great, Tessa! Airplane! Height, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASET! You bet! <laughs> it's so tough. What did you want to tell me? Two days ago, we were talking about the people who went missing after seeing Bats 490. Well, the same thing started happening with the people who saw the QR code video. Really? What? I read about it online this morning. Many people have gone missing since seeing that video. Oh my. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting murdered. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is what you just said true? Huh? Y yeah Who the hell are you? Don't get one step closer. That's right. What are you trying to do to Tessa? Sorry to bother you. The heck? And they're gone. What was that all about? That was creepy. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> uh, about our discussion. Did someone you know go missing or something? No, it's not that. I mean, we haven't seen Date in a while. It's just a rumor I found online. Tama, how many people have gone missing lately? About 1,700 people have gone missing this week. It isn't particularly higher than usual. Hmm. There's something paranormal going on in the HB case after all. Like half a corpse teleporting from another world, and people going missing after watching a video. There has to be some sort of supernatural phenomenon happening. Well, if you think about it, a thousand people versus how many billion people can be in, like, hundreds of thousands can be in a city. So, like, 
It depends on the population count. I agree with Tessa. The occult are involved with the HB case for sure. Right? Yeah. I mean, Nyes is a part of all of this, right? Where did you hear that? It's all over the internet. Nyes is a big proponent of the simulation theory. Oh, and I didn't know this a few months ago. I learned all this recently. If you think about that theory being correct, the case makes a lot more sense. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. And such <laughs> programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. Hmm. Weak sync. Uh, um, it's nice to meet you. I've never been in such a big manner before. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Y yes, I'm good. Oh, you watched my stream? Thank you. Mansion? What do you think? I'm no expert on paranormal and occult stuff, but I know one thing for sure, so you should back out of this investigation. What do you mean? I don't know much about that nice group, but there's definitely a real dangerous organization involved in all this. If you get too deep, you might end up dead. Word's spreading in the underground. If the cops investigate any further, they'll make them disappear. That's Sounds like the scary. rich and powerful from all over the world are involved in this too. You piss them off. Who knows what they'll do to you? Are you threatening me? Rich and powerful. Could Mr. Sajima be involved in this too? Sajima? Is he still alive? I guess in this timeline he would be. You mean the former politician guy? Yes, so Sajima. Yeah, her dad. Oh, but don't worry about it. Oh, I bet you that the person that she met was so Sajima and that he's been watching her stream. I just saw him recently, so he popped into my head is all. Okay. Wait, you met with So? Yeah. Why? Because I'm his daughter. Because he invited me to his house. For what reason? He said he happened upon my videos online and thought they were interesting or something like that. Are you okay? He didn't do anything, did he? Not at all. We just talked for a bit. Iris doesn't know So Sejima is her father. Or the fact that he was involved in the murder of her real mother, Monica. Yeah, the people around her have been protecting her from that information. After the new Cyclops serial killings, Sosajima's life as a politician ended, but what So didn't, did was technically illegal, so he hasn't been arrested or charged. He still has tons of money. He may not be a politician anymore, but... He still holds tons of power. Fortunately, Iris doesn't really watch the news either. But in any case, the media hasn't found out Iris is Monica's daughter. Okay. He almost certainly paid for Iris's brain surgery too, yeah. About simulation theory. The simulation theory is probably true. There's even proof. Proof? Take a look at this. pulled out several photos from his pocket and handed them to me. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like those nameless mob characters that show up in video games. NPCs? You know they reuse assets to lower production costs. No. This is probably just some sort of coincidence. Like some synchronicity type thing? But there's more photographic proof. Uh, other photos? Do you still think it's a coincidence after seeing this? If you consider this stuff that can't be explained by science as a glitch in the simulated world... It can't be. Calm down, Ryuki. These are obviously doctored photos. Y yeah <laughs> Fourth right. wall break when? Synchronicity? In a nutshell, they're basically meaningful coincidences. 
For example, when you talk about someone and Probably they just, just. Happen to show up in front of you. Or when you hear the same word over and over from a bunch of different people. That kind of synchronicity. It's supposed to mean that there's a message behind it. A message from who? Well... Someone. Hmm. Ota. About the paranormal and simulation theory. I just thought of something listening to Ota. You can explain any paranormal phenomenon using the simulation yep. theory. UFOs, UMAs, ghosts, Umas? superpowers. If this world is a simulation, they'd all be possible. Yeah, whether it's a glitch or alterations made on purpose. Whatever it is, would all make sense. Now, let's get going. For all that talking we did, we didn't get much useful information here. Yeah, but so I'll keep what I heard here in mind, just in case. Hmm. Interesting. You didn't get anything useful for the case. There are some things that I've been thinking about, though. The biggest one being... The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. A hidden room inside Horadori Institute? We have to look into this, after hearing about something like that. Well, I suppose so. So... Alright, our next destination is? Yeah, Horadori Institute. Guess we're headed to Horidori. And once I hit a point where I can actually save, I will switch us to No one here. It's past business hours. Intermission. So we've probably all left. But the lights are on. Maybe someone Annie, forgot to turn them off. Hydrate. Will do. The entrance was unlocked too. I think someone forgot to lock it. There weren't any guards around. Must be on vacation! No, oh, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, you're right. Something is clearly wrong. It's as if someone is inviting us inside. A trap, maybe? That's pretty sus. For who? And why? No one could have known we were coming here. Then maybe it's for welcoming someone other than us. Who's there? Ryuki, living organism detected. They're alone. They must be hiding somewhere. I'm gonna save. And we're gonna go ahead and switch to... Biopod, no one hiding. Biopod, no one hiding. Center monitor, no one hiding. Biopod? Uh... Biopod, no hiding. I guess it might be that. X-ray. There you are. Oh, hi, Steve. Hey! I know you're there! Come on out! What a blockhead. What? What are you doing here? Meiji. What is he doing here? Where are you here? Did you unlock the entrance? Did you find Shoma? It's averting his eyes in shame. What do you mean? It was unlocked when I got here. Why are you here? Who knows? I don't even know myself. Before I knew it, I found myself here. Uh, maybe my brain is messed up from all the drinking. Okay. He's clearly lying. He's obviously hiding the real reason he's here. Now, how to make him talk? 
He may be hiding something on his person. Let's find out. <sighs> He's got a gun. Is that? Why does he have that? Kameji, what are you hiding in your pocket there? I... I don't know what you're talking about. It's no use trying to hide it. What you have there, it's a pistol, isn't it? Kameji, can you please tell me what's going on? Uh-oh. <laughs> the heck? What's going on here? I need answers. But he's completely hysterical. We won't be able to talk to him like this, and we can't wing sync either. Time to We're actually sync with him. Choice. Ryuki, sync with him. Guess we're gonna have to. To regular sync we go! Reminder, right. this is a... I think I get the picture. Reminder, this is a really flashy game, so if you have epilepsy or any kind of seizure-inducing condition, maybe don't watch this. Komeji was in Horidori Institute for some reason, and he even had a gun on him. So, you want to find out why? That's right. Okay, the preparations are complete. Yep. Let's get right to it, then. I might actually add a trigger for the mods so that before and after uh, Ryuki, syncs, I'm we can trigger sure that in chat. Know this, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes, I know. Okay, then let's begin. In a row and take the seat of Grand Champion? Stand Up Show veteran, Tama! Hey y'all, I'm Tama! I'm digging this music. What is this? They say giving birth is extremely painful and men can't handle the pain. One day, the genius scientist created a device that could share the pain of giving birth with the father. His first test subject was his wife. His wife was about to give birth, so he decided to try out the device. But for some reason, he felt no pain. Something wrong with the equipment? He upped the power to 10%, then 20%, until he reached 100%, right when she gave birth. And right after that, his assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. <laughs> tama, 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 hot tamale. Whoops. It's a lot of balloons. Well, what's the result? 143. Too bad. No grand champion for you. Aw, uh, why? That wasn't funny at all. I think you're more suited for an assistant director position. Hey, assistant directors are the directors of the future. Don't underestimate me. Andy's Komeji, on the street. Shut up. What is it now? Oh, Komeji? Let's go! <laughs> Today we'll be walking around an area that's truly memorable to me. Yikes. There just aren't rooftop amusement parks like this anymore, you know? A walk-around comedy show with Andy's Komeji. I didn't know he was on one of those. Oh, wow. He isn't. 
This is just his dream. Dream in both senses of the word. It's his dream to have a show like this. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of pathetic. Tama, what are you holding in your hand? Hmm, what is this? A sketchbook? Well, anyway, we will, uh... Komeji's stumbling over his words. The sketchbook is a cue card. Tama, you're an assistant director now. You should send him a message using the cue card. This calls for... Say something funny. You gotta break through to him. <sighs> I never intended on being an assistant director. That's fine. Say something funny? What do you mean? What does that mean? Oh my. That's... What's going on? Ryuki, we need to do our thing. Right. Do it, Tama. Somnium scan, activate! That's a lock one. Mental lock two. Mental lock three. Two of them. Mental lock four. Two of them. Oh my. Let's start there. If we're gonna talk about Andy's Komeji, we can't miss that place. Let's follow him. Okay then. Key found. It's my show, so uh, how about I go to the next filming location so the staff know where it is. The crew chases me. Inspect the gate. I guess this is an entry gate. It's really cheaply made, and it's pretty old. Is there anything strange about it? Maybe any signs of people breaking in? I don't see anything. I see. Searching it now won't make anything happen. Mm, mini ride? It's one of those mini trains that runs along a railroad. Ad Though it would be embarrassing for most adults. I would love to go with that thing. I'm sure it's for riding along with your kid. But if you have the heart of a child, you can do it. I left my boyhood heart in the past. Along with my tidy whities Is that why you wear loincloths now? <laughs> I don't wear loincloths. Yet. Yet? Yet? I have some concerns. Inspect the vending machine. There's some vending machines with simple snacks and drinks, and seats to rest. Back in the day, at bullet train stops in the country, this kind of rest area was common. If the great Andy's Komeji showed up here, it would fill up with people wanting his autograph. But there's nothing we can do here now. Okay. It's shooting an older game. shooting game. So no zombies? It's like a clay target shooting simulator. I wonder if Komeji is good at this. Mm, I can't picture him being coordinated enough for it. I bet he's just watching other people do it. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway, there's nothing we can do here. Alright, what else? A uh, Ferris wheel. A small Ferris wheel for a rooftop amusement park. I wonder if this Ferris wheel is the main attraction. I feel like it's maintained better than the other attractions. Kind of looks like Maybe it. Maybe it just looks like that because Komeji thinks fondly of it. Which means there must be something here. And that's what I thought too, but there's nothing so far. Alrighty. Blue so balloons out of a car. It doesn't look like the car's moved recently, nor is there anything suspicious about it. There's no need to move it around on a rooftop amusement park. Why do kids always want balloons? They just shrivel up the next day. Yeah, but they're fun, and they have 
cool colors, and you can also make your voice sound really weird. When you're a kid, it's just fun watching a floating balloon. They go against gravity. It's like being free of what weighs you down. Anyway, there's nothing we can do here. Sky cycle. A sky cycle. A ride where you pedal like a bike on a rail. Nothing out of the ordinary here. It's kind of scary because of the height. Did Komeiji experience something scary here? So far, I haven't found anything like that. Okay. Now the actual answer. Komeji on stage. Got a good amount of fans. Oh, well, hello, hello! Komeji is back on stage! So, for the first time in a while, I want to show you a skit. Assistant Director Tama, show the cue card again. Got it. Hmm. Bring audience up on stage, super funny gag, quiz. I'm gonna go for quiz. Let's turn our square head circle. It's quiz time. Who is the comedian who's good at super funny gags and is on a roll right now? It's me. <laughs> I want to be a blank comedian who doesn't refuse blank and blank. Oh, well, hello, hello. Komeji is back on stage. So, for the first time in a while, I want to show you a skit. Let's show a cue card. Um, super funny gag? Don't you all want to hear a certain something? God of energy, Inti Inti Hachaka Max! What? Oh, that did something. Hey, lady, you're gonna get tired standing there. There's an open seat right in the front row. Not only can you take a load off, you can watch my super funny skit. Oh, um, okay. Hmm. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. When we saw him in person, there weren't too many people watching him. Yeah, that's true. But why not? He's funny. Okay, but in any case, never really had a big audience. So something can trigger a flashback. The trigger is... Now that I've shared my roots, let's head over there. Komeji is on the move. Get after him! Oh, progress. I've already worked for five minutes. It's time for a break. Oh, too early for a break? Meiji's older, so he gets tired quick. He's just joking. You shouldn't take him seriously. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with the marker in your hand? Let's show him a cue card. Tease the amateur. Why did you come to Japan? Autograph. Tease the amateur. Hello, you look pretty old. Uh, what is it that you do? Oh, so you fillet flounders. Uh, what kind of job is that? They're already so thin. Good luck with that. Uh, see you later. Hmm. You don't want an autograph? No? No. Huh. I mean, you kind of did insult his job, That's so. A crazy job. Have you ever heard of a job like that? Hmm. I thought the strange nature of the job would give him more material to work with. Can you focus on clues and information, not try to improve the show? So what am I supposed to do? Relax. Komeji seemed to really want to give out an autograph. An autograph. I don't. I want to be a blank comedian who doesn't refuse autographs and blank with fans in a fun way. 
interacts with fans in a fun way. Yeah, yeah. Ryuki. Why did you come to Japan? This is a different show, Ryuki. Hey, why did you come to this rundown amusement park? You came from overseas, right? Where? Egypt? Ooh, that's really far. You came all the way from Egypt, too. Are you sure you want to be here? What's so special about this unremarkable amusement park? What? I'm even less remarkable. Why would you say that? <laughs> uh, if you're mean like that, I'm not going to give you an autograph. You okay with that? Are you sure? You are sure. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yikes. He's just really not funny. What were you expecting from this queue anyway? Just farming eyeballs. Yeah, Ryuki. You look like you want an autograph. All right, all right. So, where do you want me to sign this? The co-signee section? Yes, yes. No worries. Anything for a friend. But I do have a family to think about, so you better not ditch me. Co-signee for what? I said you better not ditch me. And we've got a branch coming up. Hmm, what does Kumeji want the most? What does he want to protect? Komeji became a co-signee and took on someone's debt. What an idiot. Of course they'd take off on him. But hey, now we know how to trigger these flashbacks. Yeah, the Q has to link to the memory of his past. Alright, let's keep going. He's on the move again. Where'd he go? There he is. It's at the balloon stand. They actually sell balloons here. When's the last time you paid for a balloon? That's a good point. Don't agree with him. Give him a cue. Buy balloons? Gets a tiny. All right, let's buy one. You can't get enough of these. Wait, this is coming out of my own wallet? It, it's not coming out of the show budget? What, is the budget that tight? Oh, well, I'll buy it with my own money. Ah, a run-of-the-mill balloon. Very normal. The kind you take home, and the next morning it's shriveled up and on the ground. And after thinking about what to do, you put it on some old hag's head. Okay. What am I talking about? <laughs> I guess he wants us to make him do something funnier. More TV friendly. TV friendly, huh? Open hearted comedian who doesn't refuse autographs and interacts with fans in a fun way. They actually. When's the last time? What's a good cue? Inflate a balloon or fly with balloons? Fly with them? Excuse me, I want enough balloons to fly. How many would I need? What? I can't fly? Wow! Well, duh! What's with that cue? Yeah, director, you dropped the ball on that one. Yeesh. Excuse me, assistant director. You can't fly. You need to think more logically. It's fine. This is a Somnium. You're the one who's always telling me to think outside the box. They actually spent the last. What's a good key? Let's inflate a balloon. Anyway, so, can I give it a shot? Balloon's gonna pop. Interest? My dead isn't getting any smaller. What is a black? I, I can't borrow any more money? Ooh. Where can I get more money? You'll let me borrow money? Really? Oh, thank you. 
Thank you! Yeah, it's the lone shark. The debt got bigger and bigger, and he couldn't borrow any more money from regular lending companies. That's why he started borrowing from shady people. Hey, who is that over there? Who could it be? Uh, do we have a guest today? Tama, the person standing there is... Is this the same scene we saw at the beginning of the Somnium? We couldn't hear then, but I wonder if we can hear this time. Yeah. Hmm. Hello, what is it? Uh, do you need something from me? Oh, jeez. Hello, this is Chow Chow Finance. Mr. Komeiji! Oh, you're late on your payments. Oh, yes. I'll pay you back no matter what. So please, uh... Are you sure? I've heard that from you enough times already. At this point, I guess we have no choice. Maybe we'll have to get your family involved. Yikes. Oh, what does that mean? Mr. Komeiji, if you can't pay back what you owe, this is what happens. Do you understand? In any case, Yonoharu and uh, good luck. Uh-oh. Shoma. Shoma! What? What should I do? Now! What? It's an opportunity for a cue! Uh, prepare the money or... Protect Shoma. Protect Shoma. I have tons of ways to get money, but... Shoma... Shoma is my one and only son! Let me through! I need to protect Shoma! Okie dokie! Who did Kumeji find? Let's chase after him. If blank isn't with me, then what is the point of my life? Blank and blank. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. I've got oodles of time. Shoma is nowhere to be seen. I guess this is like a mini mini train. We're here now. Komeji is back to hosting his show. Are you the conductor? Station one will be departing soon. Please watch your step when boarding and have your change ready. Please do not run on the train. Am I in the right spot? I could probably be a conductor, don't you think? No. Yeah, I've met people like this before. The and what of it? Nothing. Okay. Ryuki, let's go. Uh Raya small talk. Small talk time! Every day at 8 a.m., this train is cleaned with a rag by an old man from the office. My child just got the hiccups. There's an old man who checks the angle of the railroad crossing rails and an old man who keeps the train well lubricated. But this trivia is pointless. Wait, no, it's not pointless. All the old men represent Andy's Komeji. Please write to me. What the hell is he talking about? No idea. Some old man report, I guess. Can't he just get on quietly? Ryuki, let's ride it. Adults can ride this? Really? Today on Car Window from Another World, we're on a trip from Berlin to Prague. What is Shoma doing there? Wait! Shoma! Wait! Found Shoma.
after this emotional encounter. Tama, go out. Can we catch up to him? If Shoma isn't with me, what's the point of life? I'm tired from all the pedaling. I'm already regretting this. Look, Shoma is pedaling. Who cares about the show? Get after Shoma! Mm, get the timey first, though. Hello, it's Andy's Komeiji. Hey there, you okay? Your legs are all swollen. Oh, wait, that's just how they are. <laughs> that's rude. This is a pretty vapid conversation. What's the cue? Uh, say something related? There we go. What's the deal with sky cycles? You know, that feeling when there's two riders, but one is always slacking off. Don't you hate that? Maybe I'm not good with that kind of material. What is he good at? One-liners. To... Right. Not really. What's the cue? Chase. Shoma, wait for me! You'll let me borrow money? Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can buy school supplies for Shoma with this money. I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> How am I supposed to celebrate Shoma's birthday? It's tomorrow. <sighs> I get one show a month and only get 5,000 yen. I can't buy anything for Shoma. Mm. I want to be successful. I need this money. All for Shoma. I don't care what happens to me as long as I have my boy. Shoma, are you there? Hold on, Shoma. I'm gonna save you. A Ferris wheel. I remember Shoma saying he liked them. I wouldn't get on one with Kamei alone, though. Don't think about that now. Okay, but... What are you thinking about, Tama? You need to find Shoma and protect him. This is one of my favorites, the Ferris wheel. I like things that go in circles. Shoma's getting on. Hopefully he'll make it. We're running out of time. This is probably the end. Mm. We... That's a lot of things. Joke about the size. Let's go ahead and chase. What is it, Dad? Shoma, it's okay. I'm going to protect you. Protect me? What are you talking about? Like I said, I'm here for you. You'll be fine. What are you talking about? 
I'm fine. I can ride the Ferris wheel by myself. No! That's not what I'm talking about! Soma! Shoma, where are you? Where did you go? Yeah, he has no idea about the debt. What's going on? Hey, isn't that an envelope from Horridori Institute? Hi, Prime Strike. Shoma, where did you go? Shoma! Ryuki, we're out of time. All right, let's go. And the Somnium is over. Hmm. Achievement unlocked! Persona! Flashy time! How are you doing, Prime Strike? Hope you're well! Joy for Anguish, Ryuki, Chapter 3, R2, February 13th. Kameji is still asleep. It's taking longer than usual for him to wake up for some reason. Hmm. I thought we used the correct dosage, but perhaps his somnium has taken a toll on him. Speaking of... What's going on? Shoma! Where did you go? Shoma! That was an envelope from Horidori Institute. Maybe Komeji saw Shoma holding it. Shoma is related to Horidori Institute somehow? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. He lied about the hidden message in BATS 490 pointing to Horidori Institute. Maybe this is related. No point thinking about it. We'll have to ask Shoma directly. The problem is whether he'll answer. Why don't you have Komeji help? Komeji? But he and Shoma are in the middle of a fight. It might actually have the opposite effect. But he's still Shoma's father. Yeah, he should be able to get closer to Shoma's heart than any of us. Hmm. I guess so. Komeji should wake up in about an hour or so. Then let's go see Shoma as soon as he does. By the way, don't even think about slapping Komeji awake t uh, t <laughs> to wake him up. After the sink session, the brain is in a delicate state. It's better for him to wake up naturally. Ah, but I wanted to slap him. Why can't I slap him? Komeji woke up an hour later, and I explained the situation to him about how we looked inside his head. Told him I, how I saw the envelope from Horidori Institute. He saw the contents of the envelope, but it was written in German, so he had no idea what it said. Well, show it to me. I can read German. It is unknown whether Shoma can read German or not. He has to know how to use a translation app, and it's highly likely that Shoma knows what it said. In any case, we need to talk to Shoma. So I asked Komeji for his assistance. I told him if he helped us convince Shoma, we'll overlook his possession of a firearm. We headed to the Enda household with Komeji, but... No Shoma. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Huh. That's weird. He was definitely here when I left the house. What the? I have your son. If you want him back, you know what to do. It can't be! Oh no, loan sharks. Terror. Hmm? What did you say? Terra took Shoma! Oh. Oh. Kameji, what's what? going on? 
Listen! Terror is the one who kidnapped Shoma! I'm sure of it! Ryuki, we need Why? to get Shoma. Got it. Take the robot. So where is Shoma now? I found the GPS location on his smartphone. He's at Koto Ariake, the harbor warehouse district. Why the warehouse district again? Kameji. <laughs> Shoma! Shoma! What have I done? Kameji! I found out where Shoma is. I'm going to get him. You stay here. No. I... I'm going to... Please, take me with you. No, it's too dangerous. You should leave it to the police. Listen, there's no way you're keeping him from his kid. I don't care! I'm so much father! I can't just sit here and do nothing! It's no use trying to stop me. Yeah. I'll cling to your bumper with my teeth if I have to. Fine. We have no time to argue. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, what? Shoma is over there! Yes, but... He's not inside the van. How do you know? I just do. Anyway, what's going on here? The protective suits they're wearing. They're definitely from Horadori Institute. Hmm, weird. Does this mean terror is related to Horadori Institute somehow? Most likely, yes. Oh, there's Shoma. Shoma! Shoma! Kameji! Damn it! Huh? Who's there? Stop! Shoma! Give Shoma back! Surprised we haven't gotten some epic, epic music yet. Looks like they have no intention of talking it out. Ryuki. Kind of outnumbered here. Take them out. We Roger gotta that. get some QTEs. There we go. Behind you. Laser guns? Tama, help! On it! Here we go! Three, two, one! And he's strong. Yeah! <laughs> That's not the thing that you think you should be making. That's a sign for stuff. Ryuki, get Shoma! Right! Damn! Shoma! Oh, hi, Mizuki! Good timing! Mizuki is best girl. Where's the driver? Oh, Shoma. Shoma. I'm so glad you're okay. I don't... 
Yeah, I'm totally fine. Oops. Heard about as much as a hard potato chip stabbing my gums. But I'll spare the details, but basically, Mizuki has superhuman physical capabilities. Her combat skills are far greater than yours, too. Now that you mention it, Mr. Date said something like that before. Um, uh, Mizuki. Well, uh... Thanks. <laughs> Don't mention it. You help me with my homework and stuff all the time. Wait a second. Are you so much classmate? Yeah, he definitely has something for her. Well, yeah. More importantly, why are you here, Mizuki? Well... Never mind. I don't think we have much time to talk. <sighs> More of these guys again. Understood. Ugh. I just received the order. They're all expendable if necessary, including the hostage. Oh, jeez. Kameji, please hide inside the van with Shoma. You too, Mizuki. What? You want me to hide too? You're kidding, right? You're still in elementary school. She's your best asset. I'll be in middle school in the spring. That's besides the point. That's pretty much the same thing. Just stay out of this, Ryuki. I'll take care of it myself. There's no way. Then at least don't get in my way. Okay, let's go. For real. Mm. Kill them. Behind you. Ryuki! What? <laughs> what are these QTEs? I kind of expected his head to come off with that. All right. This boy is my son. Why are they He's kicking you? To me than You've I got a wife. gun. Whatever happens, I. Uh, I won't let you lay a finger on him! Komeji! The heck? I mean, thanks for the assist, but, like, who the heck are you? Dad! Shoma, are you okay? Forget about me. What about you, Dad? Oh, I'm fine. I've been training my body by taking really, really hot baths. What? So, why did you... Yeah, she's she's been sounding like Mizuki for a while. I have my reasons. Your reasons? Never mind that now. Look, it's not over yet. Impossible. Jeez, that's a lot of people. How many of them are there? You, messy hair and blue hair. Take the old man and the boy to the limousine. I'll hold them off. Then I'm fighting too. We don't need a kid like you here. 
go home and watch the Milky Moon anime or something. Oh, this. I'm not a kid. <laughs> then do as you wish. Like you have to protect yourself. Got it. Probably not Mizuki then. Uh, that's a gun. You can just use it as a gun. Instead okay. of a battering Let's ram. Let's begin. Run! <laughs> Shoma, Shoma, why do you not be able to run? Ooh, ow. That looked painful. Ryuki, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. This hurts about as much as my junior high finals essay. <laughs> being posted on the internet. You must be Yikes. on the verge of death, then. Yeah. Anyway, this isn't looking good. Mizuki and the masked woman are fighting far away from here. They won't be able to assist us. Well, then I'll... No, you have no chance with your injury. And if you don't make it, you'll put Shoma and Komeji in danger. Then... what do I do? Throw down your weapons. I'm giving it to the count of three. Otherwise, you all die. Fine. One, two. Why do you sound like Chikara? Three. What's with the thing on their butts? Date. Mr. Tate! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll explain everything later. More importantly... It's the man! Hold on. I'm Hi, back, back. I have some preparations to take care of. Iba, where are you? Oh, <laughs> Porto mags! What? Huh? Uh... Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> oh no, Meg. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Iba when we need her? What is what is even happening right now? But seriously, where is where's and Iba? And that's that. Also, I just realized the mass stranger kind of has the same colorations as Iba. So I found me, Ryoki Chapter 4, R2. Date Residence. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> what? What? I mean, it's past midnight now, so the date changed. It's February 14th. 
Oh, okay. I suppose it's a happy day for you, old man. You did get your boy back after all. Well, thanks for at least wearing slippers in this residence. But, Ryuki... Don't worry about my injury. I think this is the first time we've seen them with shoes on. Mr. Date gave me first aid. But you should get to the hospital right away. Yes, the bleeding may have stopped, but your nerves were damaged. If you leave it like that, the damage might be permanent. Yeah, I know. But first, I need to ask Shoma something. And? Her, too. This is where Mr. Date and Mizuki live. Did consider taking Shoma to the interrogation room, but he's even less likely to talk in a gloomy place like that. I had to get first aid for my injured left shoulder, so we had to go somewhere relatively close to the warehouse district. With Date's permission, we brought Shoma, Kameji, and the masked woman here. Um, no, I think I'm going to leave it on this as a cliffhanger for next Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Don't you just want someone to talk to? No. Save. Data is saved. Uh, let's see. Tama's room. Do we have any new outfits real fast? Happy Valentine's! No, now's not the time for celebrating. Okay. It's fine. Dre Come. Come. Head. Shark move. It's a mask that makes you want to run a death game for nine people. Uh, where did I need to go to? The bonus room? To get more stuff? Bonus, there we go. Zyba. Outfits. Doesn't look like we've been able to buy anything. Sadly. Dokie. Well, not much we can do with that. Um, I do miss Aiba a lot. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen her. Um, so Tuesday is going to be forewarned again with uh, Paul, if he's still up for it. Um, Thursday is going to be Secret of Monkey Island again, and then Saturday is going to be our crafting stream, and depending on how fast I get done with that, we'll probably also play, um, we'll also play the, uh, AI Somnium's Nirvana. Um, we'll see, Tis. Uh, I was thinking that we would play off stream first and see how you do with it, and then, uh, go from there. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's pretty much the schedule for the uh, week. But I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the game. And I hope you enjoyed my um, attempt at a vintage cosplay stream. Um, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed. And stick around after the credits 
to join the raid to the next streamer. And when you have a chance, have a wonderful rest of your weekend, my friends. So have a good one. Bye.